There are high expectations in the U.S. market for the healthcare sector. Last week, the U.S. market saw the collapse of share prices of Ariad Pharmaceuticals. I have Olive Zillian, and he is a financial analyst at Helvia here in Geneva. Olive, welcome today. So, tell us about this collapse, about expectations, and how this collapse will have an impact on the sector. Yeah, it's like that Ariad presented its cancer drug Iclusic that came with a much higher uh, rate of severe side effects than the financial market has been expecting. So uh, the conclusion is that the risk-benefit ratio of this drug is much less favorable than the financial market expected and with this the total sales potential of the drug will be much lower than anticipated. And the company lost two billion in market capitalization on that very day. Now that seems to be a lot for a drug that was only recently launched. So why is this? That's actually the point. So two billion US dollars in sales potential is actually quite much, very much the same number as the market capitalization that went down the drain. Um, so how does it come about? Um, the market thought that the drug as it is approved would be safe enough to be given to patients. However, uh, it turned out that the safety profile was not as good as expected. But how exactly can that happen if the drug was already approved? It was only approved for a small population of patients that okay. would still tolerate the drug. Um, should the drug be used for patients in the early stage of the disease, it would need a much more favorable profile in terms of risk benefit. Um, and this turned out to be wrong. So as a consequence, um, the future sales potential is not granted anymore. Now you only concentrate on stocks within Europe. So why are you interested in this company? Uh, as you know, so the healthcare sector is immensely complex and we have to watch out what the competitors are doing, uh, be it companies in Europe itself or then in the other international markets. So we look at the US market for the pharmaceutical and biotech companies and do um, very much look at the specific pipeline projects and with what the risk is in those uh, drugs they are developing. And of course, somebody must be going to be benefiting from their downfall from their collapse. So who will be the winner of this? Sure, uh, in this case it will be Novartis. So Novartis drug Tassinia will now be used without any competitor in the frontline setting okay. for this particular type of leukemia. Um, and with this uh, Novartis can secure its franchise in this particular type of leukemia which started with Gleevec and will now be continued with Tassinia and presumably without major competition. And what does its collapse mean for the sector? Is this a warning? This is definitely a warning because this picture uh, we have now seen is repeated with several other stocks as well, where the, at least the US market has already priced in very high expectations in terms of sales potential. So whenever something goes wrong, these um, stocks will be severely affected and that we saw now with Ariad. So this we see also in the pharmaceutical sector, which um, means that the US companies are rated much higher than the European peers. And you argue that US biotechs risk to be overvalued. But what about in other markets? Um, definitely, so in other markets that uh, overvaluation is not seen. And as a consequence, we would expect that US investors will actually preferentially start investments in other markets, for instance, in the European market, where there's still a much higher run up potential for our stocks here. Thank you very much for coming in today. My pleasure, thank you. And thank you for watching Dukoscopy TV. Now, do stay tuned for more economic updates and Forex analysis. Goodbye for now. I'm <laughs> sorry.